Hi guys, it's Mary. This is the mm, like 20th time I've tried to film this video. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do a comparison. I'm now outside filming because it's too dark to film inside. It's taken so long. Um, so I apologize if you hear any weird background sounds. Probably hear my dogs barking at some point and the neighbors are growling, so. Um, I am doing a comparison video of all the A6 binders that are out there and available on the market. I thought it might be helpful for somebody who's wanting to move into this size or maybe has one and um, wants to try out some, some other brand. So I've got a Mulberry Agenda, which is their A6 size. Gilio A6 Mia Cara, Gilio A6 Campania, and a Vanderspeck Senior Touch Me. Senior size is Vanderspeck A6. And like I said, the neighbors are burning or grilling or something, so I keep having ashes like falling from the sky. So I apologize, guys. This is not going to be the greatest video. Um, anyways, so we're going to start out here with the mulberry okay as you can see the mulberry has two poppers which is a really nice feature if you stuff your binder um, and it's also a nice feature if you don't stuff your binder it gives you a little bit extra room if you have it on the second one zoom in here um, Mulberries are really nice, durable binders. The leather is super thick. Focus! Focus on me! No? No focus? Okay. So see that? See how thick that is? Um, and because it's so thick, it's a little stiff. It's, it's a stiffer binder. Um, but it will hold up over time for sure. So inside the interior layout here, we've got three card slots, and I'll just go through and take this stuff out so you can see it better. So we got one, two, three. Then behind the card slots, we have got a secretarial pocket, and behind all those, we have this big full length pocket, which is really tight. It's a tight pocket, and like I said, um, this is an older binder. It's about, it's from the 80s actually. They haven't changed their layout much since then. So if you get a mulberry binder, it's going to be like this, even if it's a newer one. Um, it'll be a different color, probably a different leather, but it'll be, then the layout will be the same. Um, but since this is an older binder, you'd expect the pocket to not be so tight, but it is. Um, I'm sure it was really tight when it was new because it's still tight now, 20 years later. <laughs> Uh, it came with cross rings. These are 25 millimeter rings. Or actually, yeah, yeah, 25 millimeter rings. Silver. Um, and I was told that these were the original rings that it came with. If that's true, that's amazing. They are 20 years old and still perfect. Cross rings um, are amazing rings. They're really nice rings. In the back, we have got a zipper pocket here and it is gusseted so it's easy to get into and it's quite spacious behind that we have another slip pocket which again is pretty tight it's tight and i think it's just because it's a stiffer leather it's pliable but it it is a stiffer thicker leather um another cool thing about the mulberry binders here is with the clasp in the back you can see it slides in and out in and out. <laughs> so if you have it open and it's bothering you that it flops around here, this is not good. It's bothering you that it flops around, you can push it in. Isn't that nice? So that it's not so in your way. So that's a nice little feature. And the mulberry binders all still have that. So that is the mulberry. No exterior pockets, no back pocket just those the interior layout pockets it's a nice sturdy little binder that is going to hold up um, all right next up let's do the Vanderspeck touch me senior size binder this is an older Vanderspeck touch me 
um, they recently changed the leather on their touch me's so the leather now is different the older ones have this really smooth shiny um, it almost feels like patent leather I don't know if you can hear the fire over there it's really loud anyways um, so really smooth leather uh, everybody says that their newer leather is a lot nicer so yeah interior layout is the same as a medium companion if you have one of those it's the same same layout so we've got a pocket here a pocket here and then right here another pocket a zippered gusseted pocket which is also really big the leather on the touch me's is super super floppy um, there's also a secretarial pocket behind all those three and on the other side we have six card slots I believe one two three four five six yes six card slots and another secretarial and then in the back you've got a big back pocket which I love I love the big back pockets on my binders and Vanderspeck all come with cross rings the touch me line only comes with silver rings um, Vanderspeck's also known for their custom binders and you can get gold rings in those or you can order gold rings separately from this but they're pretty pricey uh, from Vanderspeck the gold rings are like whoop, sorry about that $50 if you're in the US uh, the, the touch me line runs about hundred and thirty I believe maybe a little bit more if you're in the US so it's a really affordable binder um, and it's really nice I really like the layout of it and with their improvement in the leather I could see myself using it you know as my everyday binder so yeah that is it I just want to compare it really quick to the Campania before I start in on the Campania. Um, they're almost exactly the same size, but the Touch Me is just a tad wider, just barely. And for some reason, that helps with the pen not rubbing on side tabs when it's closed. This pen loop is coming undone, which I didn't know when I bought it, but. Um, yeah, it doesn't rub on the tabs when, when it's closed, which is nice because in the Campania, it does. It will rub on the tabs if you use this, this pen loop, uh, but we'll get into that. So this is the A6 Campania, which I love. This was my favorite binder for a while before I got my Mia Cara, but we'll get into that. So inside the A6 Campania from Gilio. We have four card slots over here. One, two, three, four. And then behind the card slots are three slip pockets. One, two, three. They all go all the way down. They're really roomy. Um, these card slots at first are hard to get cards in and out of because I don't know if you can see that. Uh, they're just cut straight into the leather, so you have to kind of pop them out. After a while, they, they're, they're easy to get your cards in and out of, though. Um, and then it comes with a leather fly leaf with uh, an elasticated pen loop. This is a nice sized pen loop, by the way. And then in the back, we've got two more horizontal card slots, and I really like the design of these card slots. It's pretty, it's really pretty. And then uh, the zipper is covered, which is nice because it's not a very pretty zipper, as you can see. Um, and we've got another gusseted pocket on this one. It's a little bit smaller, the gusset is, on, than on the Touch Me. But the pocket's really wide and big and easy to get into. And then another pen loop right here, which, like I said, will bump into, will bump into side tabs. Your pen will, when it's closed, if you have your pen in this one, and this one is tighter too, um, but do you see that? See, it bumps into the pen. So I, when I used this binder, I used this pen loop. And then in the back, another big pocket. Love the big pockets. 
And uh, the Gilios come with 23 millimeter rings. Um, silver, you can request gold when you order it at no additional charge, which is nice. I really like gold rings. They aren't cross rings though, they're Gilios rings, which a lot of people will change them out to cross because cross are just a higher quality rings. Uh, these are nice, they're beautiful rings, but um, I prefer the cross rings, I do. So yeah, that is the Gilio A6 Companion. I loved this binder. Loved, loved, loved. I recently, well, I sold it two days ago. It's going to go out to its new home tomorrow because I don't use it anymore and I feel guilty having such an expensive binder that I don't use. Uh, these run about $320 new. Uh, you can find good deals on them though in the Gilio Marketplace on Facebook. It's the buy sell group. All right, so let's compare it a little bit here before I get right into the Mia Cara. Um, oh, we already compared it to that one. Could compare it to the Mia Cara before I get into the Mia Cara. Um, so, this is the difference in the chunkiness. This is my Mia Cara with 25 millimeter rings. 25 millimeter cross rings I put in this one. So it makes it a little bit bigger, not, not much though. Um, didn't change the size of it much. And then my A6 Companion. So uh, it's quite a bit different in chunk. <laughs> and then uh, as far as height, there's about half an inch up there in height and about, I would say almost an inch in width bigger yeah so I mean the Mia Cara is quite a bit bigger than the Companion but it's also smaller than the Companion believe it or not uh, and I'll show you that later so okay here's my Mia Cara this is the binder I'm currently using and I can't see myself moving out of uh, popper right here and when I first got it this was hard to pop shut it was and I was a little bit worried but since then it's great it's loosened up pops in easily all good okay so front inside here I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit there we go we've got this popper pocket here which I usually keep cash in and spare change right now I just have change in there um, but that's usually where my cash goes or any receipts if I get them and I don't want to put them in my folder that I keep them in right away. Like it's easy to just shove stuff in there, you know, when you're out and about. I use this as my wallet as well as my planner, obviously. And then you have this pocket here, which I just keep a bunch of little random stuff in. Um, that's a nice full pocket. It goes all the way out to the end. And it's got the leather zipper pull, which I love. Behind that is a full pocket, another full slip pocket. I've got a notebook in there right now. It's a really big pocket though. I could definitely fit more stuff in there. And I'm actually gonna take that out so I can show you how floppy this, this is. Because the outside cover on this binder, it it's so floppy, I love it. I mean, look at that, look at that flop. And there's actually stuff in my back pocket too. I mean, look at that, I love that, I love that. All right, stuff's falling from the sky. And then you've got a pen loop back here, which I don't use, and I'll show you why in a minute. I don't like to use that one. Um, and then back here, and this is the back of the, here, I'm going to take the inside binder out. The inside binder comes out, which is really nice, and we'll, I'll go through it in a minute. Um, over here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six card slots, and uh, you can actually fit like five cards in one slot. It's crazy. These are so roomy. And with just one card, my cards never fall out or anything. So um, they're very secure, very roomy. You can fit tons of cards in here, tons. And then Behind the cards is a slip pocket, which this is my receipt folder. Like I said, I put my receipts in here, then they move into there. <sighs> Sorry, ashes are falling on here. Like that. Okay, and then behind there we have the slip pocket, which the binder goes into, which I'll show you in a minute. And then you also have the big back pocket. I keep folded letter-sized paper in there, 
and a bunch of folders and my marker, the page marker slash ruler, whatever. Um, yeah, so that's the binder. It's extremely floppy and flexible. I love it. And then, or I'm sorry, that's the outer cover. And then the binder slips right in there. So just slips in, it's so easy. And then um, the inner binder has three card slots up here and then this big pocket right here. It goes all the way across. You can't see because it's not focusing. And then in the back, it doesn't have any pockets because it's usually covered up by this. So that's the Mia Cara and the inner binder, like I said, it comes out, which is really nice. If you need something small, I'm gonna have to clean my binder now. <laughs> comes out and it's really small and portable. Um, it doesn't have a clasp, but I mean, that's not a big deal. You could put a band around it if you really needed one. It's actually smaller than the Companion when it's out by about a quarter of an inch and almost a half an inch taller the Companion is. So yeah, I love that the Mia Cara can be big and chunky when you need it to be and also, dang neighbors. <laughs> Um, and also really small, slim, and portable if you need it to be. Oh, and the reason I don't like using this pen loop, I will show you. The inner binder has a pen loop on the fly leaf, and it is elasticated. Ugh, we're not focusing, sorry. Let's see, which I, that's the one that I use because I take my binder out a lot, so it's nice to have my pen already in there. But also, I don't like to use this one because when you put your pen in there, focusing you put your pen in there and you close it it leaves all this extra space and it doesn't feel I don't like how it feels it it clasps just fine but I don't like how it feels when you hold it with the pen in there it feels like you're holding something hollow or empty compared to the rest of the binder which is very substantial so I don't like to put my pen in there I just keep you know a little decoration it's pretty whatever <laughs> Um, so yeah, that is my Mia Cara. This is the one that I'm using and I can't see myself ever moving out of. I love it. I'm going to get more. It's great. And the Apaca is so soft. I love the Apaca leather. I, I thought that I was like more of a Croco fan because the Croco is really pretty. I love the way the Croco looks. The Apaca, the Apaca is so soft and pliable and floppy compared to the Croco, which is a little bit stiffer. It's still floppy. It's still nice and pliable, floppy leather. But I do like the Apaca better now that I've tried it. So yeah, those are my A6 binders. Um, sorry, I hope this was an okay video and I hope it was helpful. Even though it was outside and kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, if you've got any more questions, um, or any comments, leave them down below, you know, and I'll put links to all the binders so that you can go look at them for yourselves. The main websites as well as the, um, as well as the buy sell groups on Facebook. Um, and you can also find them on Instagram, hashtag Jillio for sale and hashtag VDS for sale, probably hashtag Mulberry Agenda for sale. Um, I haven't looked at that one, but I would imagine that's what it is. So yeah, um, if, it, if there was anything that I didn't show or cover, please just leave a comment and I'll do another video if I can. Um, yeah, so I hope this was helpful. And um, oh, uh, divider sets are coming up in the shop tomorrow, Monday. So uh, if you're interested in those for A6 binders, Go ahead and go take a look. I'll link my shop below as well. All right, guys. Bye.